Hey, we have successfully added in a brand new color update and some small updates for palettes and things. Whatever, I'll explain it if you watch. <laughs> I made some new palettes a little bit ago and they got approved the other day. So we went ahead and added them so you guys could make some really nice new characters. Some overall changes. Um, the eyeballs on all tribes can now go to solid white. And the claws in all tribes can now go to solid black except for ice wings. Some planned features for some customization stuff is that we want to make it where you can color the little eyeballs of the sand wing so they don't just have to be solid black all the time. And we want to make it where you can color the stars of the night wing wings, which is pretty easy to do. We just gotta do some coding stuff and that's it. Let's get into it with sand wing. Okay, so sand wing color palette, what we did to adjust it is to make it where you can go darker. On a base value, the colors are more saturated now, just like old sand wings used to be. And there are um, a handful of new hues on each end, so there's it goes all the way to this, like, orangey brown to this really, like, um, lime yellow. Look at that kind of dark you can make. You can make a lot of cool characters with stuff like this, and that's nice. The head, wings, and sail can go darker than the main body and are also more saturated than the main body. And a really cool thing about the sand wing specifically now is that you can finally color the barb. The barb coloring is located on the horns specifically. You can color your little barb and do whatever you want with that. Um, that's pretty much all for Sandwing. He's, he's cool. Just got some new colors, which is awesome! So hopefully you guys have fun with that. On to Mudwings. Mudwings can also be more saturated now, so you can actually get Clay's colors and stuff. And that's pretty much it with them, except that they can all oh, they have two new shades on their eyes and they can get um, actual green eyes now because I thought that made sense. So yeah. Oh, also, I said I made these palettes, but a lot of help was from Thrush. So yeah. So changes on Sky. That's not a Skywing. Um, changes on Skywings. I know that. Um, changes on Skywings. <laughs> there is one more new pinkish red color. Barely noticeable between the old one. I don't know, but it's it's cool. I mean, you can kind of notice up here in the higher pink, but who cares? Whatever. I did. Um, and this uh, more yellowy yellow in comparison to the oldest quote-unquote yellow color. And the wings and underscales have a new yellow to compensate. Originally, whenever you colored head, you can see it's still affecting it. Um, on Rainwing and Skywing, it would make it the nose horn get colored with the head. And I thought I fixed it where it only colors with the horns now. Well, the Skywing and Rainwing, but that works, but it can also still be affected by the head coloring, which that'll be patched. That's a bug, my bad gang. Uh, and that's all. No blue for Skywing eyes, we're still thinking about that. That's a, that's a job for future us to think about. On to Sea Wings. Sea Wings now have some new magenta shades to cap off their coloring right here. So you can have kind of a more pinkish magenta purple. They can all, Sea Wings can also go like really gray now because we found some like canon proof that they can be gray, which is really cool. On the bio scales, wings, and spine and webbing, that new magenta color is slightly more magenta on there. And when you make it go all the way up, it's pink. So you, yes, you can finally have pink on your sea wings. And there it is, gang. You finally have it. Are you happy? There it is. <laughs> on ice wings, ice wings got a pretty much complete palette overhaul, which is amazing. Um, we got pink all the way up to this new pine green color and all the colors that would lead up and down to those things. This pink is super duper duper cute. Uh, ice wings can go a little bit darker now from when they used to. And I made it where the head and horns can also get darker to compensate with that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the new greens and purples that you can now make your ice wing with. Yay! So for rain wings in general, their colors are a little bit more vibrant and I replaced the original red color here and made a more actual like ruby red because it was kind of an orangey red instead and a very minor difference, but that's all. That change about colors right there with that red has been made to rain wings, silk wings, and accessories. So basically if it had a rainbow palette, everything is a little bit more saturated and the red is better. Night wings have also gotten a complete color palette overhaul, which is awesome. You can now get, oh, 
<sighs> Sorry guys, I'm sleepy. Greens, all the way up to this brownish green, so you can have your brown and green night wings back. They can also go solid black now, because apparently they couldn't before. Yeah. The underscales are a lot more vibrant and can go to complete white now. The horns are more vibrant. The spikes are more vibrant. And in the eyes, I added these two more orange colors where you can have red eyes because I thought that was funny. <laughs> and that's all the changes for night wings. All right, so for high wings, their colors, they can also go to solid black now and that's pretty much all the changes they needed. And another note, high wings have slash are going to have transparent wings. Yay! They show up in the menu right now, but they are, they do not show up in the Sky Kingdom because we can't publish the Sky Kingdom right now. But at some point in the next few days or week, you will be able to have transparent wings actually in the game. So you can just check them out in the main menu now. And I think they look awesome. Um, we're going to revisit maybe getting some blues and stuff for the wings as well. But for now, the, when we tried add them, they were way too bright and it looked really weird. <laughs> for silk wings, um, I made the same changes as... Um, rain wings, like I told you with the rainbow thing, but they can get um, darker than they used to be able to get, and specifically the inner, middle, back spike, horns, and face and antennae can get even darker than the main body. So you can have some darker silk wings now. Not black, but pretty dark, which is awesome. So I hope you guys enjoy that. Uh, that's all the changes for silk wings. Unfortunately, there were no changes for leaf wing because, or I say unfortunately, but they didn't really need anything, guys. They just came out and the palette was perfect. So that is all the customization update has to offer. I hope you guys enjoy these new things. They're kind of small, but in the grand scheme of things, you guys seem to be enjoying what we've done with it. So. Enjoy your darker sand wings and your yellowy sky wings, your pink winged sea wings, your green pink ice wings, your more vibrant rain wings, your green and brown poopy night wings, and your darker silk wings. That's a good overlay of everything. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope this like talked about it enough. That's all for the, co the small color update while we continue to work on Aegis stuff in the background. I have no other news for that at all because we've all been very busy and I graduated today, so yay. Uh, but that's all. It's Bellasaurus signing out. Bye.